Happy New Moon, Pisces. Lunar Eclipse. Lunar Eclipse, Pisces. Um, it is early in the morning, so I am just waking up. So I am blessed today. So if you're not having a blessed day, I wish you a blessed day today, Pisces. Um, I will be live today to do a super chat reading. <laughs> All right, King of Cups came out, Pisces. Definitely you're in your meditation mode, you're manifesting, you're believing. Um, a lot of love coming in for you, Pisces. So let me see, you might be done with the water sign or someone with water in their chart. And maybe perhaps the moon, their moon sign or Venus. You have also the king of pentacles reversed, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, so the yin energy. Let's see what spirit has for Pisces. So many people. Wow. So you might have a lot of choices in love during this super moon. Excuse me, Pisces. I have to make sure the camera is set. Some who has an Avena spirit. Um, let me ring for my lovely Pisces. King of Wands. A lot of passion, a lot of connections. So you do have a fire sign as well, Pis I mean Aries Leo Sag here. Not only this Pisces, we just received three kings within the first couple of seconds here. And you also have the page of wands, so a lot of people are definitely thinking about passion. Or a lot of exes will be returning and resurfacing. As well as my masculine energies, you might have all uh, Aries Leo Sag, Pisces Cancer Scorpio, Taurus Capricorn Virgo coming towards you. Literally running towards you. Now we have an air. Air Aquarius Libra Gemini. Wow, younger energy. Um, Pisces, absolutely beautiful. Let me see my Pisces. Oh, heartbroken. Some of us will be heartbroken or is currently heartbroken about this passionate connection. Or someone um, broke your heart recently or in the past. Alright, so this could be people from the past coming back towards you who broke your heart. You got judgment, so it's judgment day, uh, Libra energy. Alright, so you might be done with the Libra as well. Ooh, money coming in and out. Finances, Ten of Pentacles. So you might have money coming in and out. Alright, so just be careful, be careful with that as well. Let me see, Pisces. High Priestess, listen to your intuition. Alright, regarding the situation. Listen to your intuition first. That's, oh. What are we listening to? Nine of Pentacles. Making your own money, focusing on your self-growth here. Some of us might be single because of this past pain. Let's see, Pisces. Moving towards new love, hopeful of a new love. Yeah, it's growth. We got this in the live yesterday, Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so definitely um, reap at what you sow, Pisces. Ooh, okay, let's see what it is. Seven of Wands, Seven, Seven. Let's see, Pisces. All right, it's Four of Cups reverse. So it was a cup of love or an offer of a connection, Pisces, that maybe you passed on and refused. But you might con reconsider that. Let's see, Pisces. Uh, you do have Virgo Hermit coming out of Hermit mode. Come on out to the light, baby. And have all these options. So now you have an idea of who you want to be with, who you don't want to be with. Now, if it is someone you just ended up talking to, it's the same situation. You're starting to uh, think about what is best for you. All right, so you won't lay here on the Four of Swords too long. If this is some of the Pisces. Also, some of us might be overthinking with the high, with the um, Ace of Pentacles here and the High Priestess. Let's get the future. One more future for Pisces. Soulmate. <laughs> How beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. So, Pisces, we have a soulmate. Someone will come towards you. Um, it might be a secret. They might not have much to give financially, but they are definitely offering their emotions. And then here is the love <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. Soulmate in love. I can't even go. Listen. This super moon is definitely uh, powerful for some people, Pisces. So you're brewing your new soulmate. I'm going to take a break, Pisces, just a second. I'm back, Pisces. So um, 
definitely I'm happy I came and did the reading this morning because we do have a future love and soulmate coming and brewing if they're not here already. Pisces, so don't worry about this past pain, this heartache that you received. This could be 10 years ago. This could be 10 months ago. This could be 10 days ago. Okay, this is definitely a past. And it was someone you were intimate with. With, If, uh, if it's not an intimate relationship, definitely a passion perhaps broke your heart. Maybe you were working on some type of uh, career project and it didn't go in the way you want it to go but it was for your higher good with judgment and you have ten of pentacles coming in so you might lose some finances some business deals but then it will come back you're reaping what you sow all right so let me see um i keep getting his illness well it's not an illness but someone is worried but i don't know why someone may be not feeling well so what is the oracle for pisces for this reading serendipity and orphan okay so often and rounds and rounds we keep getting the same cards so serendipity like i said serendipity is a reoccurrence where you m maybe ran into this person you guys talked on the phone once stopped and then you ran and you bumped into them at the coffee shop so go check out that movie serendipity you also have orphan so someone might be feeling neglected here and um, I was actually feeling that with these four of swords reversed. Some of us, and we have number 18, which is here as well. So that might be significant for some people. And then you have orphans. So someone might feel like an orphan. Maybe they feel like their family is not valuing them. They are not loving them enough. Or this could be connections. You're not feeling like these people could see your true worth. All right? And it's hurtful, Pisces, of course. And then you have 5-5, five, five, so this could be feeling left out in the cold, uh, Pisces. So let's clarify, though, and then we'll take this into the extended and to see what your partner want to tell you. So the first card that came out, if you guys were paying attention, we have the King of Cups. King of, I keep saying the King of Cups. Oh, my goodness. And the King of Cups came out in a pre-shuffle, but uh, this is the King of Wands, Aries, the size. They might have water in their chart. Or you might be dealing with the water sign with fire in your chart. Why is the king of wands here for the Pisces spirit? You have the devil and seven of wands. Obsession, temptation here in Aries, the Osage or Capricorn. Could be thinking about you sexually, okay? Now, this person is protecting you, all right? So, if other people are chirping in the ear, your ear or their ear, they're not listening, they want you, Pisces. Why is the Knight of Swords here? All right. So because we have all these different connections and people, this love could be three different, four different people. So you have the Three of Pentacles here. So put this story how you see fit. Please leave the rest, whoever you're dealing with. So you have the Three of Pentacles and rushing and running away. So someone who didn't want to work on things or work together on a project... You either running away from this person who refused to work with you or they're running towards you. So you put this story how you see fit. Definitely a past energy, a crazy bit Gemini. Um, so someone might be feeling regretful that they just ran away from you or ghosted uh, without an explanation. So they did have a lot of passion and intimacy where you have set a lot of high drive, high sex drive towards this person. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Ooh. The Ten of Cups was reversed, so something in the household, a towel moment, the chariot, and um, the temperance. Wow, three major arcanas for the Ace of Wands. I have three different stories, so let's break this down, Pisces. Are you ready? So we have the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Scorpio, the towel moment, all right? Um, this could be a Scorpio or Aerodale Satch. It was definitely a breakup. It was an ending to sex, to passion, whatever the case may be. Um, so this person is sexually attracted to you, but something occurred where they had to end things. Could be a Scorpio, Irizia, or Sag. Now you do have this, uh, this is the Magician. I'm sorry. This is, uh, the Magician, Gemini, uh, can't, no, Gemini, Virgo. <laughs> okay, Spirit, stop it. Gemini, Virgo, passion, sex as well. And it's about praying and manifesting. And you have patience. Sagittarius energy, so very heavy Sagittarius, all right? Um, Sagittarius could have ghosted you or crazy with Gemini. 
Um, Scorpio here could have ghosted you and now someone is having patience and trying to pray for a new beginning. Aquarius, the Gemini, did I say? All right. Um, let me see what else we have here. We have a lot of... You have the Queen of Pentacles for my masculine Pisces. You have the Virgo towards Capricorn reverse towards you. Uh, why is this three of... Uh, I want to shuffle. Why is the three of... Uh, what's here for the Pisces heartbreak and pain here who caused this uh, for the Pisces this is your past anyway and then we'll get to the few, the current energy all right so someone was juggling two two someone could have been online dating sneaking behind closed doors you know um you know dealing with other people other partners here and this is perhaps why the three of swords is here and the two of pentacles, two of pentacles juggling so someone was juggling you or you were juggling them, put this where they see fit, but it was definitely a heartache and pain here. Someone found out about it and someone walked away. But in the walk away, someone is still sexually, whoa, okay. Someone is still sexually attracted to you. Um, someone could be mentally going crazy or not feeling well for swords. I might have a slight stomach ache. I do see this bull. I think I told you guys not to eat any red meat, so no red meat. So the, the karma is reversed, and it is like a demon in the back. Okay, this is definitely not an angel. It's a demon, okay? And uh, it was reversed. I just noticed that. Um, so Pisces, someone could be doing some dark magic, okay? And uh, trying to break up a stable home for you. And you also have Tor Virgo, all right? Virgo holding on to tight to money. Um... Maybe not. you're not seeing their value in a breakup here. It could be a Libra, Virgo, or any of these other signs that I said I mentioned. So you got the only, you have a Gemini Sagittarius who's sexually attracted to you. Virgo who walked away, who's still sexually attracted. A Gemini could have walked away also. Aries, the Sagittarius Capricorn. And they're still sexually attracted to you. But uh, it was definitely infidelity. So let me see. Why is the judgment here? Yeah, three of swords again. I can't even make this up. So you, Pisces, this is your energy. We haven't gotten to the partner of the hidden secrets. So you want this person to pay and reap what they sow. This is the three of swords and judgment. So some of us could be wanting someone to get karma. All right. So for the pain that they caused you. But... You wish it someone ill will doesn't work. So you have money coming in and stability. But I still see some of us are wanting this soulmate. Which which is brewing for some of us. Why well, is the Ten of Pentacles here? You have the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Aries the Osage. Very young energy. Um, Pisces. So you might have a connection. Oh, you have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Wow, how beautiful. So my masculine Pisces, open up your portal. Open up your communication, which I do see you're doing. The King of Cups is reversed. Now, when it's reversed, they say it's kind of like a sneaky energy and play energy. It could be another water sign who's just sneaking towards you, female Pisces, trying to get into your bed. Now, the masculine Pisces, you could be falling out of love with the... Um, or, or in and out of love with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Now, passion is here, the Knight of Wands, and you also have the Page of Pentacles. Someone is passionately, uh, someone is sexually attracted to you, and they also want to offer stability, all right? So, but this person is going to move slow. This person, the Page of um, Pentacles, um, is someone who is very studious. They are very smart when they come to offer. They do not, they're not reckless, Okay, so they're going to be very smart when they offer this sex and passion to you, a commitment. They want to make sure you guys are both on the same page. I'm going to keep out the water signs because we have the water, which I do actually. Um, this is the Knight of, Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, Pisces, not the Queen of Cups. This is Knight. So two masculine energies. So Pisces, like I said, still... For my masculine energy, you still fall in and out of love with someone. This is King of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So definitely a younger energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, someone might be immature or younger, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio might be the person who kind of cheated on you, Pisces. 
Well, you cheated on them. That was the cancer just came out. All right, so Pisces, let me see. It could be a cancer as well. Or someone with cancer on their moon. Okay, but you're going to get insight to, on this or about this. And someone is going to be shocked. Okay, on this. During their whole retrograde. This is all happening on the entire retrograde. So put the story how you see fit. Please leave the rest. Why is the high priestess? This is silence. Ouch. Okay, Scorpio in the seven of clubs. So Scorpio, the death card. So uh <laughs> Pisces, you guys are not with it. That's what I'm gonna tell you. This Mercury is about communication, but some people are just not in your uh how could I say frequency? Some people are not matching your frequency and you're shutting them down. You're like, nah, you're ready to just be that judgment here. All right, Scorpio, very heavy, uh, major arcana. Now, a Scorpio could also be manifesting you. They could be really missing you or you're missing a Scorpio really bad. All right. Okay, because we do have a lot of passion and sex. And you do have an older woman, the empress, baby mother, baby father here. So, mm, interesting here. Someone could be walking away from their significant other, baby mother, baby father, or wife or husband to be with you, Pisces. And you know of it. And maybe this is why you're in a four swords. If it's not your stomach hurting. Having a, a, a bad stomach ache. Maybe like I said don't eat any pork. Um, why is the nine of pentacles here? For the whole retrograde. No red meat. Alright so you have the three of cups. So someone is definitely going to be found out about a third party. And uh, Pisces most likely I see you guys are the ones who's walking away. Or you're thinking about being single and having casual dates, okay? See how you see fit. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Water. You're honing into your own. Ooh, ouch. Okay, yeah. Ten of Swords. This is all mental with the soulmate and the lovers. This is mental, Pisces. Now, the Ten of Swords can be a mental, emotional breakdown. You're thinking everybody is going to backstab you. You can't trust nobody. Nobody's no good. Or even if you're dating out there thinking this, that's pessimistic. Okay, stop that. Why is the nine of pentacles? No one's jealous of you like some tarot readers are saying. Oh, someone's jealous of Pisces. No one's jealous. It's mental. Someone's making you crazy bananas here. So you have the ace of swords and the seven of pentacles like working on things. Working on the truth. Okay, um, and you might need to work on the truth as well, Pisces. Some Pisces. And speak about how you really feel. And because a lot of Pisces, we hold on to things. Because we don't want to... We hold on to, to things because we don't want to hurt the person's feelings. Is what I'm getting here. And also, you're trying to uh, create generational wealth. Why is the Four of Pentacles and you're rejecting anything that, that's not fitting for you? Yeah, look at this. Queen of Swords. She's the queen of all queens. She's like... Um, uh, with the lady from Game of Thrones, okay? She's not with it, okay? It's time to uh, cut some head, Tony, because you're not with it. Let me see, why is the hermit here? You're no longer allowing people's emotions to cloud your judgment, basically. Um, yeah, so you're, you're ready to come for, for war here. Well, not physically, you know, how can I say? Not physical war, but like, you're not stupid, Pisces. Okay, now we could be naive and a little, you know, how do they say? gullible all right but here you're no longer being gullible pisces because you you know what you deserve here the future for some pisces who's going to use their brain all right and not be a p brain here is going to definitely manifest this soulmate here all right some people brains are just not there it's lost or clouded honey or smoking too much or drinking too much whatever it's too much cut it down shut it down why is the tool cups here That's what I said. Drinking and smoking too damn much. And then the nine of cups comes out. <laughs> I'm just too good, honey. So the two of cups is drinking too much. Put the wine bottle down. Put the drink. Put the smoke down. Put the pills down. All right. So you get this soulmate, honey. Uh, wish fulfillment. Lovers. You got Gemini. Could be a water sign with Gemini. Why is, it, why is he Gemini? And then you got the page of, uh, page of cups. I love it. This is the Page of Cups, an apology love. Someone is coming to offer this love to you, Pisces. Like I said, Pisces, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You also have the speaking the truth in your head, mental entrapment here twice. All right, you might feel like you're in an entanglement. 
for some why's the ace of swords here oh hangman so yeah entanglement some of us might be stuck in our head trying to figure out is this the right connection is this the right love all right and this might put you mentally here in the four of swords just kind of like you know that this soulmate or this person is your soulmate but you kind of maybe love someone else is what i'm getting or your partner loves someone else or they're they telling you they love someone else and it's hurting you but let me see why it's a four of swords i don't want to hear this that and the third in the chat and the chatter here um seven of cups you're having options here having many options to choose from also you have the eight of wands messages coming in and out it's in the upright so pisces someone could be messaging you and you're maybe reiterating the messages trying to figure out if you should respond or not you see this here someone could be having a stomach ache a, a, a belly ache or mentally feeling crazy here you also have the high priestess and eight of cups walking away now before we get to the oracles as well and close this whole reading out i've been saying this the whole time that someone is mentally bananas here now you know it's a cause and effect always if you know about science um you could be having someone around you that's causing you to feel this way so therefore you carrying other people's burdens that that negative energy is being poured and dumped on you so where you can't even get out of bed you can't even function you can't think straight or be straight someone could be feeding you false promises you don't know who the soulmate is unless you book a personal um, my personals are i am accepted personals it will be a hundred dollars starting on june 1st now the high priestess and walking away someone will be ghosted and shut out and shunned this could be you or your partner all right pisces so it could also be the soulmate that you meet i'm also getting now that all the cards are on the table soulmate might you might have that person and then they just disappear they might resurface here okay serendipity here um and then around leo season some of you should be connected to your partner now if you are drinking too much smoking too much i suggest you sit it down put it down and so that you are presentable in the eyes of your new partner or past partner whoever you want to deal with you do have a lot of money here as well and some of us are still crying over spilled milk or past connections or we might have someone resurface who misses us and want to be in a stable relationship but it's making you crazy and maybe you're feeling like you got to make that decision that sound decision that's hurting you and the one you did love because you want to you want new love some of us want new love and someone just wants someone who's loyal all right and that's hard that's a hard decision to to figure out okay nowadays with the dating world all right so pisces let me get some fairy godmother cards for you as well and now we do have 18 some people might get proposed to engaged to a asked out to dinner on the 18th of June as well as on the 5th of June okay let's see what is the message for Pisces well it's powerful 29 beautiful I think that's an engagement but let me see one more all right so we got 36 to cross this one might be burdens I think an ending suffering burdens and trouble so like I said some people could have a belly ache stomach ache here um, not feeling so well all right so you have the lady intuitive feminine form all right intuitive feminine form all right so Any, any advice for the Pisces here? Whoa. Mm. Alright, so the Ten of uh, Wands, heavy burdens and um, working hard here. Stress due to stress. One more. So maybe you're, you're laying in bed because you're tired from working long hours. And you have the Queen of Cups, love. So you have a lot of passion here, Six of Wands, being victorious. All right, successful victory says, wish wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotion, awards, and scholarships. 
Now you do have the, the psychic, which is Pisces, love and passionate, psychic self-sacrifice and deep compassion, deep psychic insights, caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends. Follow your heart. So Pisces, this is absolutely beautiful. I love it. You will be victorious. So if you are suffering financially, emotionally, or spiritually, you're going to reap what you sow. As I said before, it was next to the uh, Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Reaping what you sow. You sow good deeds, you reap good deeds, as always. You know how it goes, Pisces. So the love. Make a wise choice. I do see some of us are confused with the choice. So if you need to book a personal, I suggest you book that personal. Now let's get the blessings and see what your partner and hidden secrets is about. Blessings. Okay. Wait. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Psalms 27, 14. So you have to wait patiently on that love. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. Psalms 29, 4. I got makeup and my nails. If you guys will leave me a kind donation, Pisces, I would really appreciate it. And, uh... Namaste. Alright, Pisces. Level 2. Hidden secrets for Pisces. What is the divine hidden secrets? Eight of Wands. Messages flying in. Messages from exes flying in and out, Pisces. Hidden secrets for Pisces. Four of Cups. Rejection. Page of Swords, Eight of Swords, Hidden Secrets for Pisces, Knight of Swords, and then the Moon is here, Hidden Secrets. <laughs> Alright, just give me a second, Pisces, to lay the cards out. Hidden Secrets, one more. Ooh, so a soulmate. Wow, wow, love it. So a soulmate, Pisces, but you're not sure. We said this in the general message. You're confused, conflicted regarding the soulmate. You don't know who it is. So the Hidden Secrets basically is someone who loves you. Um, so this was the preview. I know it was very quickly, but um, Pisces, let's go into the extended. So you have a Hidden Secret of love, passion. All right. And uh, stalking. We have the page of swords and also the eight of um, swords. Someone is crazy here. Someone is definitely running towards you. Someone is not trying to let you go. Right, Pisces, I love it, but you're a you're. I'm not sure if you're trusted, that's what it is. All right, Pisces, let's go on to the extended.